Hello everyone, I am Loki616 and I am back playing some more scrolls in the scrolls guide. <laughs> in the scrolls guide open. Uh, um, and I am up against Najip Ram in my first um, game of the competition so far. Um, who's playing a growth order draw deck. Uh, okay then, starts off heavy, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, I have a 1-2, wow, I cannot spell it, I've got a 1-2-3-4 setup going on here, in terms of turn timers, of course the 2 only comes out if he plays something. But I'm guessing he's got at least one memorial. Whoa, he does not have at least one memorial. Uh, more dudes. I feel happier with more dudes. The reason I threw away that decimation is because he's only going to be able to get down a couple of guys. Uh, there we go. Ah, I know what the problem was. He screwed up. He sacked for his first resource without, or he just didn't have it yet. Uh, didn't have that memorial yet. Um, right, I'm going to throw him. And seeing as there's still nothing actually on the board, I'm going to move him there and play this Royal Skirmisher. I'm going to play him here because I'm going to move this whole row up rather than wasting four a tag on this one wooden memorial. Um, and play the Ducal Spearman in front next turn, probably throwing away the Kabonk to do so. Um, because obviously all I'm going to be able to kabonk in this particular deck is likely to be the memorials themselves. And that's kind of a waste, unless you're going to get like extra damage through. Um, to be fair, if he only sacks up... Hmm, I don't know. Potha? Alright. Haste Wolf Focus. Sister Fox. Never mind. Uh, there's still no real reason to kabonk anything. Oh, very nice. I, that is, I have never seen that done before. But that's quite clever. I never really thought about it. He's recalled that, he's called it back, so that he can play it again. And get the extra resources from it again. That's actually really freaking clever. I'd never thought of that. To be fair, it works better when you're doing it with, say, haste creatures. But what can you do? Um, also, I know I didn't mention this last game. But, Decay's coming, Decay's coming, Decay's coming. I'm so happy. Um, I'm going to bonk her just so that she's out of the way. Uh, I'm then going to sack that for resources, play this Royal Spearman here. Yes. Uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm playing all my guys down, but at the same time, a Quake could completely screw me up. Wait for it. I've just called it. No. He's looking for it. There it is. Told ya. Uh... I kind of want to play the Ducal Infantryman this turn, just so that next turn I can kill that mid Wait. And then I can play the Ducal Skirmisher. Possibly sack the Blessing of Haste, actually. Depends what comes up, I suppose. Um, also, I from my what I'm going to consider my prelim game, um, which I thought I had to play, and then I totally did. Um, from my prelim game, what I've figured out is that actually, um, I should be, uh, getting rid of the stones out of my deck. Probably just getting mangonels in, because let's face it, mangonels be freaking awesome at the moment. Uh, 
I kind of want to keep that. And at the same time, kind of just want to kill that point. But if I sack for resources, I'll have six floating. I play the haste. Let's sack for resources. Get six. Play him there. There we go. I am half expecting a fertile soil to kill the sister of the pox. Never mind, it was a quake instead. Woodland Memorial, yeah, all right. I could kabonk it, but that would be kind of pointless. So I think I do that, and then I play that to give my guys some health, and I get another Imperial Resource. So unless this guy plays something this turn that really worries me, I'm just going to play the other Imperial Resource. Although, he could play a Kinfolk Veteran, kill my Duke of Skirmisher this turn, which would be really saddening. Hello, folks. I'll be here all week, calling exactly what's about to happen. Oh, he's played a... Oh, I was half expecting a focus on that wolf at the back. Uh, right, let's cast that. Throw that for cards. Cool. To be fair, this guy's been playing all of his big power cards, i.e. the uh, Quakes, the Kinfo Veterans. Uh, he hasn't got his Great Wolf down yet, but that's only a little bit away. I'm fairly happy to leave this on too. I will get a Decimation eventually. Um, so I might just move up to the next row. There's got to be some memorials in there he can't play. Right then, I am not going to go anywhere near that middle. I am going to... Sack this Potha... I'm going to sack Potha for cards. Got a decimation. But what I'd rather do is play the Duke of Skirmish and the Royal Vanguard in the top row. Um, possibly Royal Spearman Honourable General next turn. Unless I get a speed, in which case it'll be Honourable General Speed. Everybody dies. Because I like it when everybody dies. It makes me happy. Because <laughs> I'm a mean-hearted soul who just wants to kill all of my enemy's creatures. I do kind of want to play the Waking Stones in front just because, and then play the Royal Spearman there, because that would be really hard to pother. And then I could play the Decimation down that row, do a load of damage. That might be a really good plan. Uh, let's throw the Bonk cards and see what happens. Okay, nothing major for this turn, but I am going to play the Stones there, I'm going to play the Spearman there, uh, could... <sighs> See, I could decimate this row here and just kill it. That might be the best way of playing it, just to... Just to give him something to worry about. Uh, possibly I focus on killing idols too much. 
but at least I know he cannot pother this stones away. And my Royal Vanguard and my Ducal Skirmisher will still be behind a spiky guy even if he does. Spiky guy that will probably die this turn, but a spiky guy nonetheless. Um... Yeah. We'll see what he thinks. Okay, he's not going for it. He's moved back down. I think he just remembered the point of this game. That is, to kill your opponent's idols. Stop fucking about with my dudes my language um fall back ha <laughs> on the memorial I like it God hand painful kills that midpoint good play kills him very good play of course this guy is now down to three which means that this guy can kill him I can then take that point off of him by double focusing my ducal skirmisher uh, I am going to throw the pushback for cards. Let's see what we get. Flip. And a Royal Spearman. Now that's the big one, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Royal Spearman goes in front. Again. He moves down. Kills off the wolf. He is going to do 5 damage. 8 damage. 11 damage to that back point. Uh... Honourable General can go down next turn somewhere in there. Uh, kind of just want to keep these two. There we go. Screw you and your God Hand. <laughs> Fucking hate God Hand. As to be said, that stones is uh, going to be annoying later on, for the simple fact that it is currently in my way. Um, I'm going to have trouble getting a full 10 damage down onto this top point in one hit. Uh, it can be done. The honourable general is pretty much the way to do it. And if I get the honourable general, if I get the speed next turn, I will have won the game unless this guy plays blockers in the top row. Never mind, he's played blockers in the top row. Even a chump blocker, which would stop my general because of the way they're set out. Okay, killing off him. He's doing free damage to my Royal Vanguard. The Royal Vanguard. Uh... Uh, kind of want to throw this flip. Let's throw the flip and see what we get. Our honourable general, Royal Skirmisher in front. Uh, these guys can just hide behind this thing again. I can throw a Royal Skirmisher down in front and then play a general down the bottom here. That might be the best way of going. Yeah, let's do that. Right, these guys move back up. Royal Skirmisher goes here, stopping pothering madness, uh, and then the Honourable General gets played down here. Uh, I'm expecting this Kinfolk Veteran to go up, and this Ragged Wolf to come down, start forming a new... Oh, it's only a Ragged Wolf, I don't know. Maybe not. Possibly he's going to go with... Um, killing off that point there. I still feel pretty good about this, I'll be honest with you. Uh, why? Because I've got two turns in which to play the Royal Vanguard, the Honourable General, and the Haste. Backing up for resources. Metam yeah, okay, he's got that point. Fair play. Kills off him, does the three damage there.
Yep, he's moving him down just as a chump blocker. Fertile soil on the uh, Ragged Wolf also played in its place as another blocker. Ragged Wolf played behind, starting to do damage to my stones. Good plays. Good plays out of this guy. GG, folks. Never mind. No, it's not. It's nearly GG. Oh, God. Oh, good God, no. The the madness. I should have played him up there. Uh, three, five, seven. No, I still wouldn't have done enough. But it's close. It's fracking close. Uh, right, let's throw this Honourable General the cards. Push back, Royal Skirmisher. Okay. Should be GG next turn, hopefully. Because I've got a push back and I've got a haste, which means I can haste this guy, push back whatever he manages to get in this row. Got him on the defensive at the moment. I thought that was GG. Oh, was. Uh, could it have been GG? No. No, it couldn't have been. Looking for creatures. Potha, he's... Oh, the general. Okay, fair enough. Figured he'd poke for the stones and kill these guys off, but. Yeah. Um. I need to get one damage down on this point. One damage. Come on. Decimation. Uh, another haste would probably do it for me. Quake. Ooh, that's painful. Okay, all of my guys at the top are dead. But there's still no blockers down here. Now there's a blocker. I've still got pushback. I think I just won. Pushback. Haste. GG. There we go. Awesome! I win my first round. Yes! Which means I now need to message Blinky at some point. That was good. That was good, folks. Right. Uh, also, because, as I mentioned, I think, at the start of this game, because Decay is coming, I am saving all of my gold. All of my gold. Excellent. Right then. Uh, I guess I will see you all next time in the next round. Have a good one, folks.